All right, let's move on to the next section. This problem is pretty easy, but in this section, things are going to start getting a little tougher. So we want to prove that these three statements, let me get that, these three statements are all equivalent. So we will prove them in this order. We'll prove new is absolutely continuous with respect to new implies new plus and new minus r implies the total variation of new is implies that just new is because this will be um, this will give us implications in all directions basically that all three of these are equivalent um, Throughout this problem, let x equal p disjoint union n be a Han decomposition of nu with respect to mu, um, and e in our measure measure uh, our sigma algebra m such that mu of e is equal to zero because otherwise every time I try to make a claim I would have to restate that and it gets old really quickly. Um, also another thing to note when I write this I mean of mu with respect of new with respect to new. So here it's not stated but new is a sign measure and mu is a positive measure. And the reason we assume that is that in the textbook Fallen defines absolute continuity only when you have um, a sign measure um, being absolutely continuous with respect to a positive measure. Uh, and he makes some statement about how you can define it in the case where both are sign measures, um, but apparently we don't do that in the text. Um, but it actually, I think what happens is instead of looking at sets um, where they're equal to zero, you like where the positive measure is equal to zero, you look at, um, and you say that the sign measure mu is null implies that the sign measure nu is null. Um, but anyways, we're just going to deal with this for now. So first, let nu be absolutely continuous with respect to mu, so we're doing this one. Um, Then, um, given E as above, mu of E is equal to zero, so nu of E is equal to zero. So nu plus of E is equal to, so by definition, nu of the intersection of E with P, and this is less than or equal to nu of E, since this is a positive measure, and this is a subset of this, and this is, well, equal to zero. Um, similarly, we have nu minus of E is minus nu of E intersect N, and this is less than or equal to minus nu of E, um, and that's just because the any equality for these two would go in the opposite direction since nu is negative um, on and and so basically this just works but then this is minus zero which I'm pretty sure is zero so nu plus e equals nu minus e equals zero which um, and so nu plus and nu minus are absolutely continuous with respect to nu. Um, next, if nu plus is absolutely continuous with respect to nu and nu minus is, so now we are doing um, this implication, um, then nu plus e is equal to nu minus e 
is equal to zero. Here, I literally just erase the statement like, let e be a set such that mu of e is equal to zero, um, because we're using it so many times. I'm just going to skip it and just say, then we got this. Okay, so now, then total variation of nu of e is equal to nu plus of e plus nu minus of e, and that's just zero. Sorry. Finally, if total variation of nu is absolutely continuous with respect to mu, um, then nu plus of e plus nu minus of e equals zero. Um, that's of course assuming e is like this. Um, and so we got two positive things here whose sum is zero. So nu plus e equals nu minus e is equal to zero. And so nu of e, which is just nu plus of e minus nu minus e is zero minus zero, which I'm pretty sure is zero. Hence, nu, with respect to nu. Therefore, the statements are equivalent. And thus, we have finished the exercise.